Hello, myself Jay Kishan Shah and I am a certified ethical hacker. Talking about spear phishing today, it is a targeted form of phishing, which is a cyber attack used to steal sensitive information such as login credentials or financial information, disguising oneself as a trustworthy entity. Spear phishing attacks are directed to a specific individual or an organization rather than being sent out indiscriminately like a traditional phishing attempts. These attacks are often personalized and tailored to a target using information gathered through social engineering tactics such as researching their social media accounts or browsing their website to make the message appear more legitimate and increase the chances of target responding. Spear phishing is a highly effective tactic used by cyber criminals to gain access of the sensitive information such as login credentials and financial information. It is important for an organization or an individual to be aware of potential risk or spear phishing and to take steps to protect themselves, such as training employees to recognize and avoid phishing attempts and implementing technical controls such as email filtering and multi-factor authentication. There are lots of spear phishing examples available today and I would like to share some real life attacks that happened in recent years. One of them is 2017 WannaCry ransomware attack where the attackers sent out the spear phishing emails to the organization worldwide, tricking their employees into clicking on the malicious link which spread WannaCry ransomware. In 2018, the Google Doc phishing scam happened where the spear phishing emails are being sent out to the users appear to be from Google Docs, tricking the recipients into giving up their Google account access. Again in 2018, the UK National Health Service were impacted of such cyber attack, where the attackers sent out the spear phishing emails to the NHS employees, tricking them into downloading the malware, which spread across the network. In 2020, the Zoom phishing scam happened, where the attacker sent out the spear phishing emails with the fake Zoom links and login credentials to trick victim into installing malware into the devices to steal the sensitive information. These are just few examples of spear phishing attacks that have happened in recent years. But to be noted, Spear phishing attacks are getting sophisticated day by day, so companies and individuals must stay vigilant and adequate themselves about the threat. Well, there are several ways an attacker can pull this off. Uh, one involves compromising an email or a messaging system through traditional phishing attempts or through a vulnerability in the email infrastructure itself. But that is just the first step in process. If someone's email within the targeted organization is compromised, the attacker can sit in the network and monitor and track all their interesting conversation and use it for their advantage. If they can't hack their way into the communication system, an attacker can turn into open source intelligence, social media, or corporate communication to form a picture of the target. If attacker can glean personal information from your online presence, they will try to use there for their advantage as well. The most effective measure to safeguard your business against a successful spear attack is a user awareness training. Humans are often considered as the weakest link in security. Use the awareness training to educate your user about phishing attacks and social engineering attempts. The second should be the guidelines or preferably a policy endorsed by your chief executives should be issued to all the staffs instructing them that they must not visit any malicious website or attachments in suspicious email or any emails from an untrusted source. If in doubt, they should check with the IT security manager. Don't post any details on social media sites that could help an attacker planning a spear phishing attack on you or any other criminal. Never use your official business account details, particularly your password. When registering with non-work related online services or companies, always use different complex, hard to guess passwords for each account. Position your mouse over the link without clicking on it allows you to examine the url for anything suspicious other technical and procedural method methods that can help mitigate against the threat would include the following use endpoint security solutions and keep them up to date and consider other technical countermeasures that might be appropriate for your systems use the proper patching systems so that all your systems are up to date with the latest patches so that any fixes that has been issued by the vendor to close the identified vulnerability in their products applied as soon as possible. Such vulnerabilities could potentially exploit as a part of spear phishing attack. These are a few examples which can be used as a countermeasures to prevent a successful attack happening. Phishing is amongst the biggest cyber threats that organization is facing recently. 
According to the reports, more than 80% of the organization fell victim to a phishing last year. Let's look at the five most common types of phishing attacks, which includes email phishing. Most of the phishing attacks are sent via email. Attacker typically register a fake domain names that mimic a real organization and send through a generic request to victims. Many phishing emails use sense of urgency or a threat to cause a user to comply quickly without checking the source and authenticity of an email. Spear phishing is again a targeted form of a phishing attack which targets a specific individual or an organization and uses a personal information to make the emails look more legitimate. Veiling, on the other hand, targets only a senior executives of the organization. So it's more of a targeted attack other than uh, the rest of the attacks that are present. Typically, these attacks do not use tricks like malicious URLs and links. Instead, they leverage highly personalized messages using information they discover on the research about the victim. Smishing and wishing. This is a phishing attack that uses phones instead of return communication. Smishing involves sending fraudulent SMS messages, while wishing involves phone conversation. Angular phishing is basically a very common these days. The, these type of attacks use fake social media accounts belong, belonging to a well-known personality or an organization. These attackers use an account handle that mimics a legitimate organization and uses a same profile picture as the real company account. Attacker take advantage of consumer tendency to make complaints and request assistance from brand using social media channels. However, instead of contacting the real brand, the consumer contacts the attacker fake social media account. When attacker receives such request, they might ask for a customer to provide personal information so that they can identify the problem and solve it. In other case, attacker provides the link to a fake customer support page, which actually is a malicious website. It is important to note phishing attacks are constantly evolving and new types of attack may emerge over the time. Phishing is a huge concern for many because it is a form of social engineering attack which tricks individuals into providing the sensitive information such as login credentials or financial information. These attacks often come in a form of emails and messages that appears to be from a legitimate source such as banks or financial institutions making it difficult for individuals to distinguish between a real and a fake communication. Additionally, phishing attacks are becoming more sophisticated and can be difficult to detect, making them a significant threat to a personal and organizational security. As a certified ethical hacker, the best defense against phishing is to implement a multi-led security approach that includes both technical and non-technical measures. Some of the key defense strategies include employee education and awareness. Regular training and reminder on how to identify and avoid phishing attempts can help employees become more vigilant and less likely to fall for an phishing scam. Implementing email filtering and spam blocking technologies can help prevent phishing emails from reaching the employees' inboxes. Implementing two-factor authentication adds an extra layer of security to login processes by requiring a user to provide an extra form of identification. Implementing web filtering technologies can prevent employees from visiting a malicious websites. Keeping the software and security tools up to date. Having an incident response plan to quickly detect and respond to a phishing attempts so that the damage can be minimized. It is also important to understand that phishing is constantly evolving and becoming more sophisticated day by day. So it is important to stay informed for the latest phishing trends and techniques and to regularly review and update the security defense strategies.